Hey gamers, it's Grind This Game here, back with Oxygen Not Included. The 100k challenge, which is uh, the super cold map where everything is frozen, except for our little humble base in the middle of this chilly, chilly iceberg. Um, I was just reading about Titan, uh, the moon Titan, and I think it said that it was around 180 degrees Celsius, which is kind of like... Kind of like, almost like this map in parts, kind of, like here, minus 169. Anyway, I got a big uh, big list of things I want to do this episode, so we're going to try to get to it. But as you'll notice, there's yet another emergency happening. There was a chlorine explosion, and it was actually worse than this. Um, I was doing some stuff off camera, and I kind of scrolled up, and I'm like, this whole area is chlorine. So what happened was there was... All this solid frozen chlorine kind of just sticking around here there was clumps of it and while I was busy down doing something else uh, I think I forget what I was doing but I was down the oil biome I think and I scrolled up and this whole area was chlorine so I, I was like holy crap gotta deal with that so I am gonna mop up the little bits here we do have all the solid chlorine picked up I am gonna put a gas pump here. I think what I'm going to do is just pump this out, filter it, pump it out and out into here and it should turn into a liquid. Or even a solid. So let's quickly do that before we get to the other stuff. I'll uh, put this here, sure. Not really. This is temporary as most things are in this uh, base. Um, do that, do that. Already eight, sounds good. So this will go in here. Chlorine will go out. I better use insulated past here. And then we'll just put it out there. And everything else can go right back where it started. High pressure vent just in case. So there's that. That should help get this chlorine out of here. And the rest of it we're just gonna have to mop up. It's everywhere. It's everywhere. It was worse before. And up here, these containers, high priority. Priority nine solid chlorine, just in case they find any. I did get a bunch of my sweeping done. I was gonna do that off camera. That was this area here. Still got this chunk here to do. We'll queue that up with a priority one. Priority one sweep. The other thing I added was these um, automatic dispensers because they were picking up here and having to go all the way down to my infinite storage. So now they just chuck it in here or here and it drops all the way down. I should put a ladder there. Drops all the way down to here. And then I'll probably move it up into this infinite storage area here. Um, let's see what else. So the plan for today, I got a little list here. I wanna do oil refining, because this water's collecting and I wanna use it up. And we're also running out of oil. There's a little bit here and a little bit here and then we're kind of we're going to be out of it. So I want to tap into this. So I want to start building that out. Uh, I'll probably do this priority seven. We're going to build a room here with a trusty liquid lock. Is that going to leave me room for everything? I think I'll put it on the other side. It doesn't have to be a very big room. Let's have the ladder going up through here, not sandstone, because there's none of that around. Yes, yeah, so a liquid lock here, made out of oil. Then that needs water. Um, let's build a ladder. Hmm. Okay, maybe we should put this in first. Uh, refining, or is it utility? I think it's utility. Oil well. 
This thing needs a thousand grams of water, 240 power. Makes a bunch of heat. Uh, let's make it out of steel in case it gets too hot in here. Actually, overheat temperature, 2000. We can make this out of anything, so let's stick it here. Lead. And we're going to need... What was this starting to freeze? Oh, that's CO2. What was I putting in here? Water, probably. Brine, yeah, okay. Let's get a pump going there. I kind of like to pump it straight down instead of going all the way around. So maybe I'll put the pump over here. Or we could go around. Let's just stick it here. I need to desalinate it. We're going to need a bunch of power. We do have this heavy wet wire. I'm just going to use this everywhere. And I kind of need more power here as well. Because I want to put in another refinery. So let's do that. Oh crap. we got to be careful about right here. There's some natural gas in there. Lots for them to do. And this area here is going to be for a slickster farm. So that's the other thing I want to do this episode. So we'll get that going. What else did I have on my list? Um, I think that's it. So hopefully we can get through those couple of things. Output pipe full. Yeah, we're not burning off this petroleum fast enough. Our power needs are going to go up and up and up, so this is kind of a disaster here, but it's working at the moment. Let's put it... I'm going to do an emergency tile here just so they build it real quick. Maybe out of igneous rock, though. Right there. Don't want too much natural gas to escape. Beautiful. Couldn't ask for a faster... I'm going to need a couple of those, actually. Uh, yeah. Okay, so... Actually, I didn't need two. I needed just one. Come over this way. Kill that wire. And we'll put a second one in right here. Gold amalgam... Sure. Let's get that going. Why is this not working? Natural gas. If the pressure above 500. So the pressure right here is 1200. Okay. Hmm. Gotta get that going. Should probably have a sensor at the top, maybe. And the other thing I want to do is take on a bunch of dupes. So. Night owl. Can't dig. Two night owls. Um, let's take iron for now. We'll look for someone better. I don't like having to manage night owls. It's, even though it's super easy. Okay, that goes there. Are we at, we're out of copper? No. Is that possible? We are out of copper, but we got a bazillion... We got so much lead. So let's just use lead instead. Lead instead. Okay. So Slickster Farm here. Let's, like I said, one thing at a time. So desalination we need here. And we gotta make sure stuff doesn't freeze here. We should almost be insulating this tank. This will get up to 95 degrees. But right now, ooh, look at that. What the heck is that? <laughs> Phase transition going on there. 
I think I'll put the desalinator right here. Jeez, and we get the, we gotta get that water down into the heat. Maybe I should go this way. Minus 86. Could dump some of that water down into here. Cool this area down, but we don't want that. Maybe do the desalination here. Minus 40. Okay, refining. Where are you refining? Desalinator does uh, 3,500, so that should be good for our needs. Stick that there. Get a pipe going on here. This has to be insulated. That'll go in there. And hopefully it can make it to the desalinator without completely freezing. Yeah, we got heavy wire here <laughs> and regular wire. I'll probably normalize it all and get rid of this conductive wire at some point. Let's get the priority up here on this stuff. The petroleum. I did put a filter on here just to make sure that we're getting only oil. That thing will get pretty hot if it surfaces, so we gotta make sure we keep the oil going in. And we got some here, so let's let's get access to this. That should flow down there and end up down there. And I do want to see what's over at the very edge. Oh, we're already at, already at the edge, though. Okay. We'll get all this residual oil. We're going to need power down here. Should we use heavy watt wire or should we use this wire? 480. We could probably use this wire. We don't want to hook this up just yet. Okay, we got salt water in the tube. We gotta start doing something with it right away. <laughs> um, crap. Okay, let's put it in the tank real quick. Couple tanks. And then we want to take it out of there. And I bottleneck myself in there. Take it down here. And I think we can go through here safely. And then I'll go in there. Okay. Make this little bit a nine. Because we don't want that water freezing in the pipe. 5.3. Everything's going to warm up here over time, so I'm not too concerned. All these hot machines giving off heat. Yeah, this will this will all eventually warm up. Okay, while they're kind of doing that, maybe we can get the six to farm going. I think I'm going to stick it right here. Copper ore, that might melt. We want a side one. Yeah, that's probably okay. Back gold. And I want this 24 wide, so right to there.
Okay, we don't want to get too far into the cold there. Do I even need to dig there? I don't think I need to dig any of this. Oh yeah, I know I was doing that. So we could go up one level here. And I want to get eggs in there right away. So we want incubators, uh, food. Wrong night menu, incubators. We're not going to power them. But we'll get the eggs in there. Because you can't, you can get slixers with traps and it's probably not too hot here. We can probably grab them, but... Okay. Slickster larvae. Larvae egg incubate party nine. <laughs> that should get that one at least. Overheat damage. Did I make that out of lead? Yes, I did. We'll try that again. But with, uh... Iron. Because lead is terrible. For hot areas. Okay, we got water flowing. Yes. And we got a bit of buffer there. What is going on here? Okay, that's okay. I actually don't want this water to come out just yet. So we'll, we'll connect it up later. Let's make sure everything is going along okay up here. Uh, it's not. We got a problems there. Did I ever hook this up? Oh, I'm just uh, moving gas around in a circle. It's always good. Chlorine, please. Thank you. There we go. And that should just turn into a liquid, maybe. There it goes, liquefying. Who knows where it'll end up down in this hole. Where does this end up? Right here, okay. Let's put a, a pit for it to go into. Oh, the chlorine is going into our water supply. <laughs> Well, hopefully we can just allow it to collect here and then mop it up and do something with it. And this is cool. Got methane there. And we're out of slime. So maybe we should go mine a little bit of slime. There's some here. And a bunch up here we'll get. So that should eventually suck all that out of there. We've got some water here on the ground we probably don't want. Chlorine in the bedroom. And carbon dioxide. I really need to convert this back to a uh, regular tile. And my heating loop is kind of not heating anymore, so this area is cooling down again quite a bit. So I kind of need to extend this heating loop into this loop here because this is all gone now. So if we can merge these somehow. Uh, how do I want to do it? Let's take this out. Okay, it's going in there, coming out here. So let's do this. We're gonna do. This wasn't on my plan of things to do, but if we do that, input, and then when it comes back around, we can merge it. I think. Doesn't need to be insulated. That goes there. Yeah, 
Yeah, I gotta choose where my loop is gonna begin and end here. Goes around there, comes around here, and then we'll rejoin. God, what have I done? We wanna rejoin here. <laughs> Okay, we can do this. We can make the delicious spaghetti. Down, down, oh, no, not like that. Right through here, into there. Okay, that should do it. What a wonderful loop. Down around here, through here, yeah, that should work. Yeah, we got lots of extra miscellaneous stuff here. This can go. <laughs> this can go. That's no longer being used, just to clean things up. And let's see who we got here. Uh, food. A supplier who's germ resistant. Decreased germ resistant. Okay. And let's get some skills going on here. Ellie, you're gonna be a carrier. Uh, we're gonna do farming here. Got some super diggers, but they need also to be able to get around and stuff. Carrier slash engineer, maybe. Digger carrier. That probably doesn't make sense, but uh, this one I have to reclassify, I think, because they're really good at um, ranching. So we probably want to get them into ranching instead of digging. So who was that? Travaldo. We got to reskill them. Okay, let's put one of those. Actually, I haven't. I've rarely built these ones. The skill scrubber. Oh, it actually takes power. This is how little I have built it. And that needs to be in a different place. Uh, can we get rid of this ladder? Yeah, I think we can. I forgot to look how much power it used. Heat 4.5k DTU, wow. Okay, how's that loop going? It's coming around. It should be good. Okay. Someone gave me an idea for my infinite storage. So, uh, let's do that maybe. Uh, we want it really close to the cooking station. I think the idea was just to make Something like this. Make a vacuum in here. Okay, I need to extend my heating loop down into the bedroom as well. 22 degrees. Is this thing operating? It is. It'll eventually warm up. Skill scrubber. Let's get uh, Travaldo in there. Okay, I'm kind of off off task here, though. Oh, he's in the shaker. <laughs> Uh, we continue to have issues here. Oh, the other thing I got a suggestion for was this room, which is getting out of control. Okay, so... Critter drop off. Let's put that in there. And set it to zero. And it should pick up all these guys and put them in different 
hatches, hatch areas cramped. We need another few hatch rooms here. This was not on my plan, but we'll do it. That's what this whole area was planned for, so... And I need to make this a little bit smarter. Well, we'll disable it for now. It's probably easier than... Uh, I want to move it down there later, but... Okay, another wrench. So, here we want uh, auto wrangle zero. And that'll be all sorts of hatches. Stone hatchlings, stone hatches. Hatch and hatchlings. That should get them out of there. And if we give them enough room elsewhere, should be good. This is actually giving up a lot of heat. I want to fix this as well. They should end up here if I select everything correctly. This was uh, sedimentary rock. Yep. Good. Auto wrangle at 8. And let's, while we're here, let's build another one. Somebody said um, in a comment that my... Uh, Rodriguez was just overkill because it supplies enough oxygen for 33 dupes. And they said, you'll never have 33 dupes. And I kind of thought, have you not seen my 100 dupe video? So yeah, we're going to be taking on more dupes for sure. I think I had three or four Rodriguez in my... Maybe three? Four? I think I had four in my... 100 dupe base because I needed oxygen for liquid oxygen as well. Okay, I'll probably back off this uh, solid chlorine. And I should probably get some more schedules going. How are we doing? We're kind of crazy here. Oh, we got a uh, early bird. Okay, let's make another one. Schedule five. And we're just gonna shift everything over. Eventually I'll give them three downtime instead of two. Oops. But for now let's just shift over this way. And bath time. And then we'll stick all the extra dupes in there. Okay, this is uh, morning already, so that's probably fine. Two, five, five, five. I need another schedule as well, but that should reduce contention on the bathrooms. I'm doing stuff I said I wasn't gonna do, but I just wanna make sure the hatches aren't crowded. Okay. Let's do some mopping here and then we'll go back down. Back down we go. We got uh, water sitting in pipes, probably starting to freeze here. Let's get this li liquid lock going. Stick it here, doesn't really matter. We gotta seal up the other side here. It's probably good. So this will get filled with natural gas. We'll have to deal with that. 
their larvae did not end up in the incubator. Oh yeah, it melted. I forgot. Okay, power. Water. Let's get oil in here. Get this liquid lock going. Crude oil, priority nine. Okay, let's just grab it from here. Okay, there we go. I think we can probably hook it up now. Whoa. Wrong copy command. There we go. Hook the water up. Gonna put a bridge in here. Stick a bridge in here, get that flowing. Lead power line. I think it'll be okay. I think power lines are okay. So this will fill up with natural gas. I'll need a pump in here. Probably make it out of steel because it'll eventually get hot in here. And I might actually let the oil just flow through over and down. And then let it leak into this area. That way we don't really care about... Yeah, I think that'll work. But we need to take this gas here and send it on its way out. We, don't, we do want to keep some pressure in here. I'll put this in here, but we'll put it outside. So this will be natural gas will go off into the natural gas turbines and everything else will... Should we just chuck it back in? Why not? Like I said, I want to keep some pressure in there. Okay. Power. We don't have quite our liquid lock yet, so... I've probably forgotten something, but I think the oil will make its way through here and just leak out. Maybe we can trap these guys. Critter trap. Overheat temperature is 75. It is 70 here. Yeah, we should be able to get this guy. But we need a critter drop off. Let's make sure this is a ranch. It's not yet. It needs... Grooming station. Under stations. And we don't have to feed them anything. We do need a critter drop-off though. Stick that over here. Not there. That was some lag. Two point four. Oh, we gotta get this water moving. I'm going to put a towel right here, so when this does dribble down, 
It won't go right, it'll only go left. How much oil do we have here? 35 kilograms, yeah, we gotta get a little bit more going here. Oh, we got our guy, okay. Critter drop off. Slickster and Slickster larvae. And we should probably be sending the CO2 into the room instead. This is pretty cold CO2. It actually starts at 100 degrees, but then it's getting pretty cold. Right here. Even though it's insulated. Oh, it's being merged with this, which is negative 50. That would be the problem. Six point five kilograms. <laughs> we could put petroleum on top if we had any. Don't think I have any sitting around. Oh wow, this is actually collecting really fast now. This polluted water. Um Okay, we got slickers being groomed, that's good. And I got nowhere for the natural gas to go. Gotta get that up to here. That's also gonna become an issue here. We're gonna have a flood here in a bit. Those should actually be up in this room, so they all leak into the same place. This is... what is this? Natural gas... Um, gotta be careful here. That we don't freeze the gas. Minus one. Yeah, well, I think we're fine. I'm gonna have to move these. So let's finish our floor here. We'll get these ready up here. With a bit of... Oh, uh, probably a new room. Some natural gas we want to go up here. What's temperature? This is all good. We can just use regular pipe. out of these guys. Let's actually go branch off here. In. In. And we'll go out through here. That has to be, that definitely has to be insulated. Otherwise, it'll turn into liquid. What's going on here? Made a mess. Oh, crap. I think my bathrooms are offline. Help a pipe full. Yes. We have an issue here. <laughs> uh, I knew this would happen, and I didn't set it properly. So... The quickest fix for now will be stick this into there. Maybe. Will that work? Is it already going in there?
Okay. Where's the pea? Gotta get that pea. This is green pea up here. Got pea in the food. Any other miscellaneous pea? Might be frozen somewhere. Okay, what do we got here? Gold amalgam, oxyfern. I might use this someday, maybe? Actually, we want dupes. Construction. Yes. And I forgot about Port Trivaldo. Skillness. Skillless now. Trivaldo, you are going to be a new rancher. Slash farmer. This water tank is getting pretty full. But it's not going in anymore. Okay, that's good. Temperature here is getting pretty warm, 42 degrees. I think I can probably extend my loop up now. I was going to send it through here, but minus 68. I don't think it could make it all the way through without freezing. So I might have to kind of do this in stages. Yeah, if we go up here first and then down here. I think that'll work. Okay, uh, okay, that's working. What's the temperature like? 36, 33, will we make it all the way around? I think we will. So you can't just put in one big giant heating loop. It's just not, you have to do this in stages. Unless you superheat the water, which I don't want to do. It's already pretty hot. We're heating up to 45 degrees, which we'll bring down eventually. Once we heat up this whole area. So we're back down to what temperature? 26. Okay. That'll work. And this whole area should get nice and toasty. And we've insulated all the border. So. Oh, they can't get here. Okay. Actually, I gotta fix that. <laughs> Did I just deconstruct the wrong one? No. Yeah, hopefully they don't get trapped outside. Starvation, that's okay. That's the shovels. They'll just keep uh, eating, laying an egg, and dying. Which will eventually make tons of food for us. We got ten idle dupes. That's never good. And we got slime. Let's go look for some slime. Got some here. Any other? I just had this open a second ago. Kind of want to strip mine this out. Um, maybe we'll do this first, though. Those are guys are right there. Maybe we should see what it is.
Okay, we'll strip mine there, get all that slime out of there. And CO2. And polluted ice. But we're fine for food right now. Back down we go. Oh, this is actually getting dangerously full. I'm gonna start using this water faster. <laughs> oh, we finally got our art coming along. I was gonna prioritize Trivaldo on digging, so let's do that. Trivaldo. We'll get you. Oh. <laughs> That's no good. Let's make you high priority digging. Turner. Why do, why do I have you like that? I'm not quite sure. Same with Liam. What the heck did I do here? I've got all my great diggers way low priority. I think I just did the ball and then forgot. Okay, that should help a little bit. I never finished this project. Okay, we're gonna go up there. That's gonna merge. I think I can just do it here safely. Actually, we're gonna rip these out of here. And put them up here. CO2 is coming down. It's got nowhere to go. And no power connected. So this natural gas will go this way. Clean up this pipe, we don't need it anymore. And we'll extend our tank here a bit. And probably put some mesh tile here. Don't need that much, but... Okay, we just want this to start flowing. Maybe we should hook this up. We got our liquid lock formed now. Barely. Barely. We'll add a little bit more into there, if we have it. Crude oil zero. Okay, that's a problem. You know what I should have been doing? <laughs> doing this, probably. Would be smarter. Jeez, there's nowhere to put it. All right. <laughs> Stick it right here, once they clear that ladder. Now it might be underwater. Can't remember if they work underwater, I don't think so, but that should be okay, maybe. Freezing water? Freezing CO2. Okay. This is all coming out of here anyway, so we don't care. Okay, it's something else that's probably frozen. Probably left it in there too long. And this, what happened here? Jeez. Minus 1.3. Oh, crap. We gotta keep these machines running. 
but they've full filled up. But now we've got water flowing here, so... Okay. This is good. I think we're okay now. Liquid lock's fine. I can turn that off after Ellie gets her... <laughs> gets her oil there. Okay, liquid lock's good. This thing we want, 75's fine. And the oil is flowing. And it should just spill over here. In theory. Down here. Okay. Bit of a mess. Let's see, what temperature do we got here? 70? We can probably get these guys riled up. Two of them there. Let's free this guy. Try to grab them all. Might leave some wild ones out there just in case we need wild ones. Zombie spores everywhere. <laughs> New printer. Sandstone. Oh wow, that's really what I wanted. Uh, Catalina. How many are. What do we have to now? 23. Make sure all our projects are going along here. Okay, now we got a consolidated tank. I, I like this natural gas. We don't have any of it yet. That's fine. Shave that off. Kind of want to straighten that pipe now. I guess we'll leave that wire in there for now. Okay, tank's getting very full here. We're gonna have to do something about this. Maybe bring it down here and dump it in there. I don't know. We're gonna hook up all these oil wells, I think. So one there, two, step over here. Should I start thawing this area? Probably not. I kind of want to get over here though. Let's go down. We actually have to go through right here or things are just going to freeze up. Starvation. Someone is stuck. We're very slow. Will he make it to his food? Probably. With the tube. Maybe. Oh, this chlorine. I think I would have got it all by now. Temperatures... Okay, my thing locked up. Because <laughs> I got too much water in here, because I've stuck it in there. Okay. Yes. Uh, <laughs> I think for now, with this body temperature, that won't do it. Guess we'll tank some of it for now. I do want to build like an overflow system for that polluted water. Not just yet.
Okay, we'll store the P in here for now. Just to relieve the pressure from this system. Okay. Completely out of slime again. We were dealing with that up here. What do we got in here? This is probably water by the look of it. Just what we need. More water. Don't usually complain about water, but... What do we got? Cool steam vent. I was right. 110 degrees. We'll just let that slowly melt this for us. Might as well grab this food. Free delicious food. I said it. Oh, my ladder doesn't line up. It doesn't line up with my floors. It must. It must line up. Don't get stuck. Don't get stuck. And this little experiment up here is going strong. It's slowly melting all this out for us. The old strip mine going. Eventually we'll retire the mushrooms, but how are we doing for sixters here? Groomed and happy. Groomed and happy. Pooping coal. Okay, where is all this chlorine gas? That's what I want to know. What if it's just re-vaporizing somewhere? We should just really dribble it up here somewhere. Um, let's make a little chamber for it here. Should send it up into space to be dropped off, but for now, we'll stick it in here. Damage overheated. Gas filter. That's not good. What did I make that out of? Copper, of course. You guys probably all saw it. Maybe we should pump this oil out of here. <laughs> Might be better. I don't want to overflow. Okay, let's do that. Cool pump. We want a sensor. Hydro sensor. And we'll pump that out of there if it goes over a certain amount. And for now, well, really, I should do this properly. Why am I using granite? We have igneous rock around. Let's use igneous rock. Oh, they're they're blowing the horn. So we'll just fuse that into there. This is all empty. This will be empty soon. 
Okay, is that natural gas coming out now? No, because the filter is completely destroyed. And is my bathroom broken again? Trap dupes. Trap dupes. At least they peed where it was frozen. Oh crap. I think this is liquefying. Minus 126. That's the problem. That's what's been going on this whole time, I think. It's been thawing and they've been... Oh, jeez. Look at that. It's freezing. Oh my gosh. <laughs> it was freezing in an infinite loop there. Freezing and liquefying. Freezing and liquefying. And I think it still might be. Jeez. <laughs> uh, okay. I guess we'll, um, do it here. Okay, um, solid chlorine, you're coming up here. No more of that infinite loop crap. Get our fire pole all the way up there too. There we go. And we were gonna dribble a bit of something on the something on there to vaporize all that. Emptier. That's going to cave in on top of their heads. And I'm going to protect their heads there with a bunker tile. And then we'll drip a little bit of liquid on there, and that should conduct the heat. Maybe. We need a tube up here as well. It's right at the transition, that's what's going on. Okay, we'll have to let them catch up there. We're going over time here, but that's okay. Never did finish my food thing. I was gonna build a food vacuum thing. I actually wanna go in here while this is all cleared out. I was gonna expand this so it would be a bigger room.
No one's allowed in there, I don't think. Unreachable dig. It is so reachable. Delivered chlorine, picked up chlorine. Yeah, I gotta change that to sweep only. <laughs> okay, what should we put here? Probably petroleum, but we don't have any, so... Crude oil. Barbecue. Got lots of food. So, what else do we got here? Mouth breather. Slower, squeamish. I will take the food. We'll look for a better dupe. I do want to get a tube up there. Analyze that as well. I think I think a dupe just got hit with a meteorite in their head because I saw some damage. Eleven tons of chlorine still there. Okay. I'll sweep that up. I think there's some more over here. And our cooling loop needs a little bit of TLC. We got to uh, remove a little bit of water out of that pipe. And that's not really what I want. Blue water goes in there. Try that again. With the valve closed. Getting movement, we're getting movement. This is what I wanted. Just want a smooth flow. That's probably good enough. Okay, that heating loop is restored. Back down, here we go. Seventy six degrees in there. This is uh, needs finishing. <laughs> if the pressure is above fifty, send that oil to where we want it. is right into here. That's good.
And we finally got oil moving. Okay, good. Nine kilograms of... Oh, is my... What's going on here? Uh, we got too much pressure in here. This is messed up. Oh yeah, I need to rebuild my filter. Out of something a little bit more resilient. We got tons of steel, so let's use steel. Where was that sitting before? The input is there. How did I have this before? Like that? Yeah. Okay. And we're just burning off this natural gas. We're not trying to be efficient about it. Okay, we got we got the oil wells hooked up. We got the slickster farm going. Those are my two main goals. So. here. How is it doing? Where was that water? Up here. Let's get that analyzed. Maybe put a tile here so it doesn't bubble over. Ends up over here. I should really put some paintings or something in here, but maybe we'll do, um, got lots of diamond. Tons and tons and tons of diamond. Decor, anyone? I think I need more, um, <laughs> I need more mess tables. This could be four tiles bigger. What's going on with these guys? Do we, do we run out of room? These should be eight. Or seven at least. This is uh, groomed and happy, cramped already. Auto wrangle at eight. They should end up in here. There was an egg in there. Better rethink our uh, hatch automation there. Wow, it's a lot of extra hatches. <laughs> They're breeding like hotcakes. Oh, you know what's wrong. These don't have stone hatches. Stone hatch. That should be... Re Distribute them? Okay. I think whatever this pump was doing could be removed. <laughs> I think that was a CO2 issue right there. Since been fixed. Put some zombie spores in the mess hall. Got 
some stickers up here. Oh, look at that temperature. Yeah. Now we're talking. Oh, we almost heated up one whole section, and then we got to heat up this whole section. I don't think I have enough beds either. Um, oh, we got one, one to spare. Yeah, we got one more dupe coming in. Okay, there's one thing I want to do real quick. And we have tons of plastic now, so let's do plastic ladder. Why stop there? Actually, they're, they're gonna take the tube up here. So we'll take it up to, we'll to keep it within the base. And this one can be plastic. I need to change this up a bit. Might as well do this one plastic because they're not all using the tube. Okay. This is messed up. I don't think I can get through to here. Um, and I think I have a similar situation like that with my natural gas I gotta fix upstairs. Getting pretty warm in here. Might actually need to start cooling stuff in here. This is trying to keep up, but it's blocked. Let's turn this pump off for now. Okay, that's fixed finally. That's been like that for a while. Get two of those going. And we need a work light for them and I forgot about that. Can at least get a lamp here. Steel lamp. <laughs> that should help this one, but not this one. Okay, I think we gotta wrap things up here. We'll go back upstairs. Uh, things are crazy, messy, but somewhat stable. Uh, maybe we'll take on one more dupe here first. Who do we got? Uh, diver's lungs, allergies, no. A diver lung, but likes to eat. Sure, why not? Dupe 24. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed that episode. Um, as always, thanks for watching, and we'll see you all next time.